Hello friends. In this video we present you a delicious recipe of fish. This is called fish mappas which is one of the stars of the South Indian cuisine and it is cooked in coconut milk. I have also provided the nutrity value of the recipe in this video and I hope that you will definitely enjoy this. Let's begin with the marination of the fish. Here I have taken 500 grams of kingfish also called seer fish. Add turmeric powder, salt and lemon juice. Coat the pieces well with the spices but be gentle so that the pieces won't fall apart. Keep to rest for 15 to 30 minutes. In the meantime, prepare the other ingredients. Finely chop ginger, garlic. Also make slices of onion. Chop the green chilies as well. This recipe calls for more green chilies and that's the main source of spicy flavor. The pot tamarind or the fish tamarind is the next ingredient which is must in this recipe. As it is dry, we soak in water. Traditionally, the fish recipes are cooked in earthen wares and that gives a fantastic flavor to the dish. For the video purpose, I have used a stainless steel pan. But if you have an earthen pot, do try in that. When the pan is heated, add coconut oil. Now add mustard seeds. And allow to splutter. Add fenugreek seeds. And roast it. Add garlic. ginger and roast as well then add sliced onion and roast it Sout them till the onion turns transparent. Add green chilies. Mix all together and sort them well. This takes about 2 to 3 minutes. Then add the simple spices. Turmeric powder, and coriander powder. Roast them well. Now add the fish pieces one by one so that they won't stick to each other. Fry them to half. Keep the flame at medium. Then gently flip the other side as well. Fry. 
Frying both the sides may take about 10 minutes. When the fish pieces are tender and soft, we add thin coconut milk. If it's difficult to get the coconut milk, then you can dilute coconut cream with equal amounts of water and use it. Especially in this recipe, the fish pieces are cooked in a blend of coconut oil, spices and coconut milk. And this is what gives the authentic flavor of fish mapas. Mix in gently so that the pieces won't fall apart. Add salt as per taste. Allow to boil and cook well. Then add the soaked tamarind and continue cooking. Cook at medium to low flame. This takes about 15 to 20 minutes. On cooking, the gravy should become thick. Now add black pepper to enhance the taste. Also add few curry leaves to give the authentic touch. When the fish is cooked well and the gravy becomes thick, we are towards the end of cooking. If cooking is done in earthenwares, then you can keep in that itself. But if you are using a stainless steel or non-stick pan, then transfer the dish to a glassware or any other in which the action of tamarind won't interfere. Off the flame. And wait for few minutes for the boiling to settle down. We usually don't allow the thick coconut milk to boil as it may lose the creamy texture. Lastly, we add the thick coconut milk and if this is not available, then you can dilute coconut cream with quarter cup of warm water and use it. Give a gentle mix together and our fish mapas is ready to serve. Also remember to remove the poor tamarind before serving. Serve and enjoy with rice or chapati or any of your favorites.